Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. This is a pretty big one that I unfortunately could not release or talk about until I felt better. <laughs> I honestly had this, uh, this update came out and unfortunately I was sick at the time so I couldn't do anything or even talk about it because I was like, I can't do anything. But now that my voice is back and even though it sounds a little scratchy, let's get talking about it, shall we? So, for those of you who don't know, this is an update for regular Don't Starve. It has nothing to do with Don't Starve Together. Or does it? I guess we'll find out, right? Okay. It says, hello everybody, surprise, we have a big uh, bug fix update for you all. This is pretty substantial, so we're going to put this on the beta branch for you all to check out before we put it to the live branch. Instructions for switching to the beta branch, blah, 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 blah. And they set up a new bug tracker and all that stuff. So let's talk about the changes. Add an inspection lines for the B-Box stages. Uh, the Fry Focal's fire rate has been lowered a bit based on the weapons. Lazy Forge, uh, Explorer, or sorry, Lazy Explorer can no longer be spammed and has its own effects. Monkey Houses will release all monkeys when set on fire. Hounty Shooters will no longer shoot other Hounty Shooters. Uh, some minor changes to the mod screen text. Many pop-ups can now or now support the cancel key to close them. Players can now collect, pick up items, and craft and load weapons while mounted on a beefalo. Deployables can now be placed from a tiny distance. Uh, wood fences, wood gates, mini signs, and feather pencils now float. The volcanic and ancient crafting tabs will will both are be both available when using the brain of thought. Uh, map exclusive recipes are now learned when prototyped and thus available for crafting on other maps. Uh, some staffs can now cast on land while the player is sailing. Add a distance to the placement of wood fences and gates like walls. The fire pack and bangums will no longer attack monsters. The characters like Weber pack and bangums will no longer uh, trigger spider webs and will not be slowed by them either. The gas mask now applies a special vo voice effect. The root trunk UI is now screens center like other chests. Sprinkler uh, pipes don't block placement anymore. Okay, and then there's like a gigantic list of bug fixes, uh, which is pretty crazy. Like this is a lot of bug fixes. Somebody went through like a lot of work to actually make all these things happen. So let's talk about why this is kind of interesting. When it comes to Don't Starve Together, the one thing that I always wonder is, okay, why are they now focused a little bit on single player? And the thing is, is this, is that for a while, Clay has obviously been busy with multiple different titles, releasing new things for Clay Publ Publishing, which are, is like their new game titles that they're kind of, um, you know, essentially putting on a list that is, you know, being promoted by them. And they have Rotwood, which is a game made by Clay that's just coming out very soon. So they have a lot of stuff on their maps. Now, don't Starve single player has been known for a while to basically be obsolete as far as I was concerned. I didn't know that they were going to go through and start updating the game again. So it's kind of interesting that they decided that they wanted to do this. And this is not just something small. They've added the beta to Don't Starve single player. So this is kind of interesting and I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if it's entirely possible that we could see maybe another DLC for Don't Starve or this could be the end of Don't Starve single player where they say, OK, we've done everything that we can. It's basically at its full potential and that's all we want it to be. And that's it for Don't Starve single player. Let's focus heavily on just Don't Starve together. So I don't know. What do you think? This sounds like it's pretty promising. Now, I don't play Don't Starve single player ever, although every now and then I do have like a little bit of an itching for playing Hamlet. The problem is that I find is that Don't Starve Together is way more appealing to me than playing single player. So here's the thing. If you have the option between playing Don't Starve single player versus playing Don't Starve Together, what would you rather play? I know that there's actually a lot of people out there that still play Don't Starve Together uh, and also play Don't Starve at the same time. So you're playing the single player game and the multiplayer. If you're out there and you're like, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, so Don't Starve is the original game. It came out, it was like an adventure mode game where when you, when you completed what you had to do, the game ended. Uh, you can eventually still play it, but it kind of didn't work that way. Then they had a few DLCs, and this is how Don't Starve Together essentially turned into Don't Starve, or sorry, essentially Don't Starve turned into Don't Starve Together. The game became multiplayer, and now they were two games. So you can play Don't Starve, and play like Hamlet, and Shipwrecked, and all those other things that are on there, and then you have Don't Starve Together, which is its own game that has a bunch of added content to it, where anybody and everybody that joins the server has the exact same thing. So what do I think this really means? This could mean something more interesting where potentially it could be the beginning of the end of Don't Starve single player, like I said, and all their focus goes on multiplayer, which would be pretty nice. I know that the Clay has said before in the past that it doesn't seem like it's much of their focus, so it's really interesting to see them refocusing back on it. It also could just be one of those things where they want to be nice and say, hey, you know what, we still know a lot of people play this game, so here you go, we didn't want to leave it in the dust. 
but I don't know. So what do you think? Do you think that there could be another DLC happening for for single player? I don't think so. I really don't. Although they did surprise us with Hamlet before, but I, I mean, who knows? It's possible. I don't know. If they do make it for single player, that would be pretty cool, but I don't really, I can't say for sure. Now, if they decide to kind of put it to rest and say, this is the end, we've done all the updates that we need to do to Don't Starve, and now we can focus on Don't Starve Together, I like that more because obviously I play Don't Starve Together, I don't play single player. So if that is the case, then for all, I mean, I hope that is because I want to see all effort put into Don't Starve Together to make the game bigger, better, have more content, maybe make the game last longer when it comes to like challenging you and all that other stuff. You know how I've talked about DSD Dungeons for a while, and I'm going to save that for another video. But yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments about this update. I think it's cool that they've actually given us the beta so we can go around and play with it. And it's been a while since I played Don't Starve single player anyways, so maybe one of these days I might do a little Hamlet run, do it for YouTube or something just to see how I can do. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you think about this i think it's pretty awesome i think clay does a great job at making sure that their games um you know don't go fully with the lights turn off and eventually they go back to them to make sure that they even if it's a small percentage of their community that's playing the game still get a little bit of attention so it's really nice to know that thank you clay for doing so it's cool i don't play don't serve single player but you know what for those people that do this is a pretty big update and quite substantial as you can scroll for you know a few seconds there just before you have to get down to the bottle so you can really tell how many fixes have really been done here um i will provide a link in the description if you want to see this and make sure you open to opt into the beta to help clay figure out if there's any other bugs that need to be fixed but yeah there you go there's a big update enjoy thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one